everybody, this is Kel's Kitchen and we are uh, making dessert. Normally I cook, I cook a lot and uh, leaves very little time for cooking. So tonight I told the family, I was like, you know what, we're gonna do this backwards. I'm making dessert first and then we'll worry about dinner after. So I've got uh, a few things out here that I'll show you. They're all very small, very budget friendly. Um, but I find that they make a big impact in the kitchen. So making skillet brownies, I am amending our recipe. I will, I can put this link out there, but this recipe is from Pamper Chef website, skillet brownies with white chocolate chips. I don't have white chocolate chips and in the current situation, we're not running to the store just for those. We're just gonna use chocolate because, you know, chocolate's chocolate. So um, I have our small, uh, small batter bowl here. These bowls are fantastic because there's a four cup and an eight cup, and they are oven safe um, and freezer safe. They come with a lid so you can put things, prepare them and put them back in the fridge. I love the handle that comes on them and all the markings are embossed right in the glass. So you're not gonna have to worry about any paint peeling and stuff. They last forever. So we've got the four cup there. I've got a, just shy of a quarter cup of chocolate because I'm also skimping on the chocolate a little bit. Um, we don't need that much and in fact, you know what, speaking of chocolate, my son doesn't even like chocolate. I know, he's 12 and he doesn't like chocolate. So when I make cookie dough, and I brought this out to show you. <laughs> when I make chocolate chip cookies, I have to make his batter without chocolate chips. It's a chocolate chip cookie without the chocolate chips. And you know what, when you make your dough, freeze it, make a double batch and freeze it. I do this all the time. In fact, I pulled this out of the freezer because I'll cook it up for him later. But um, yeah, make, just kind of make like little logs of your dough on some saran wrap and then um, put it in, oh, sorry, in plastic wrap and then roll it in saran wrap, throw it in a baggie, zip tight, puts it in your freezer. Then when your company says they're stopping by and you weren't prepared, you can whip out one of those, put them in your oven and you look like a goddess in the kitchen, okay? So going back to this, we've got a quarter cup of the chocolate chips. We've got our measure all cup, different sizes of our measure all cup. So make sure you're getting the right one. This is just a one cup one. Fantastic measuring cup, very loved favorite uh, cup by all. The soft condiments, like I've got butter in here, but you could put jam, jelly, uh, mustard, ketchup, you know, all that stuff, cream cheese, all those soft textures. And then what happens is you're gonna push this out and all of it's going to come out. You're going to get all of it and you don't have to worry about getting it all and scraping it from the, uh, from around the bowl. The other thing is, is that it double actions when you turn it upside down, you can see the little beaker there, um, as a liquid measure. So one cup will measure your dry and, uh, and your liquid. So that's brilliant. We're going to put this in the uh, microwave just for a minute to melt this up. And that gives me a second to talk to you about these cute and adorable little skillets. Look at them. Okay, hang on. I, I mean, I really think they're cute. Don't you think those are cute? They are, um, mine are just out of the package. I have not made this before. Um, we do have the 10 inch and the 12 inch here that we love. Uh, camera guy can tell you he loves to cook on there and get a high sear. Isn't that right, camera guy? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but I wanted the mini ones because they were cute. And I think they're an excellent way to make a nice crispy edge for your baked goods. But you can also use them for hot dips. And because it's cast iron, they're gonna stay, your hot dips will stay warm longer. And they're just adorable for serving. You could make two different dips and serve them at night. So anyway, um, we also have new pan scrapers uh, this season. And they have a nice little beveled edge, um, well like a pointed edge on this side, but also a curved edge here. And that's really gonna help with scraping things out. So that's fantastic. Our cast iron does come pre-seasoned. The, um, the one that you see here that's not coated, uh, it's pre-seasoned, but it's not like our enameled cast iron set, right? So these you're gonna keep uh, handy and there's gonna come care instructions to do that. If you love the idea of cast iron, but you're not wanting all the work with cast iron, go for our enameled cast iron set, it's brilliant. And easy to clean and go in the dishwasher, okay? These ones do not because it's raw cast iron, but the great thing with cast iron is that we're getting into the season for um, barbecue. And who doesn't like to put things on the campfire? So I am just using our new little mini whisk to take that butter. I mean, God, 
you start a recipe with chocolate and butter and you know you've got yeast cooked. And it just makes this great little sauce here. Look at that. And it's nice, the small one is nice for this. Uh, <laughs> my husband, AKA camera guy, he does, he loves the whisks, but the larger one he finds flips out of some of the smaller bowls, right? So we got smart and we made a smaller one just for him. <laughs> Um, we have now to whisk in, um, some additional ingredients. We have a quarter cup of cocoa, a teaspoon of baking soda, and one quarter cup of all purpose flour. Now I measured these out and mixed them up ahead of time, but I'll, I'll talk to you for a second just about the measuring cups. So we have two different kinds. You can see here we have our nesting set. Okay. They rest flat. A lot of people like these when they're baking. Okay. So that would be that set. And then this set here is our nesting. It comes there, four of them actually come in here. I have one in the dishwasher. Um, but I like these, these are what is called their easy measuring, easy read measuring cups, because you can look down when you're filling it and you can see the markings from the inside. So you don't have to go like this. And I tend to use these when I'm cooking, those when I'm baking. So um, our, our prep bowls, you'll see I have a few of them going here. We have a one cup, we have a two cup and a three cup. Um, and honestly, I use them all. They're brilliant because they all come with lids. They too are oven safe, microwave safe, fridge safe, freezer safe. Um, and they'll quickly become a go-to in your kitchen. I actually was talking to a gentleman earlier today and he was getting more two cups because he didn't have enough. So, uh, all right. So we are just gonna whisk in, I better, better read this because when I get talking, you know, isn't that right, camera guy? Well, we know. <laughs> Measuring cups, the microwave safe, full microwave uncovered. We're going to whisk in sugar, eggs, and vanilla. I'm going to do this the way they tell me to. Did you know that if, when you're doing eggs, this is a great trick. You know how you, when you're teaching your kids and they crush the egg and all the shells go in? It's actually best to take a piece of the other egg, like an, another piece of the shell, to scoop the other shell out. It's a little trick I learned. I actually and had to do that the other day. Did you try it? Yeah. It well, does, I, oh, it's so I've worked. done it before and I rarely get the shells in, but I did and I didn't really like fussing with it. I got the shell, got it out right away. It is so different. Like, I don't care how many times you go in with it for it with a fork or a spoon, use another piece of shell to get the shell out. You are gonna love me for that tip, let me tell you. Like fire with fire. Right? Yes. There you go. So we've got the two eggs went in. We're going to put in, what did I do with it? We're going to put in some sugar. I have half a cup of sugar. Mm -mm. Uh, brownies are my favorite. So I'm super excited about this recipe. And we need to put in vanilla. Now you can't get this anymore, but I'm going to tell you about it. So that next time when next season rolls around come Christmas time, just before Christmas, we have a double strength Madagascar, a double strength Madagascar bourbon, pure vanilla extract. You will use it on all your baked goods from then on. And because it's double strength, you actually don't need as much as you do with the artificial or even the real, um, because it's very, very potent. So it just has a beautiful flavor. Remember that. If you're looking to book your party, message me and we'll get you set up for that. Your host will be thrilled because they get rewards at your party. So yeah, anytime in the next six months, we can party again. Uh, let's see here. Now we're gonna whisk in the dry, the dry measure stuff. So in this recipe, you definitely want your whisk. And don't go too fast. <laughs> gonna get it going slowly. And you'll notice I have my bar board here. Sometimes my cutting boards become a little spoon rest and the bar board is actually perfect for that. They're small, they can tuck in your, in your cases when you're camping, they're fantastic sizes. And often I pull them out just to cut up an orange or you know, when you're not going super crazy with in the kitchen, you just need a little something. The bar board is a perfect size. All right, let's do some more. This is gonna be really chocolatey. That's why I cut down on the chocolate chips. I can smell it and it smells so good. All right. The oven is heated to 350. 
So that is what you wanted to start the event with. And after this, we're just gonna be putting it right into those two skillets, baby skillets. Now, you know what? <laughs> this recipe is good for one, two, three, or four people. You wanna know how? One for you, one for me. My morning, my night, <laughs> all for me. <laughs> or you could actually serve these cut in half. Maybe take our uh, vanilla or our ice cream maker um, I know one lady in this party who is super excited to be getting her ice cream maker. And let me tell you, my son asked for it for his birthday and he loves making it. It's so different to make your own ice cream and have it go be real. And you can put that right on top of this hot brownie. All right. So I'm going to get rid of the whisk and I'm going to take back our scraper, scrapers mix and scrapers they come in all different sizes folks if you have ever done this and used one where the head popped off it melted on the end etc you want our scrapers they are a go-to i have multiple of every size in case they're in the dishwasher these are a go-to i use them every day every day i use them every day i know like it's for real it's uh it's it's a go-to I, I could not live without my scrapers all right, I was talking about everyday items too and I was talking to Matthew and uh, he was saying that he's so excited to be getting our knives, our forge cutlery that you can kind of see behind me on the counter. I'll point them out in a second. But our forge cutlery, they're lifetime guarantee and you'll never know how bad your knives were until you have a good knife. Knives and scrapers, I think that's a good top 10 list item all right oh it does not look good yeah and it smells fantastic so we are gonna put these in the oven for 23 to 25 minutes when we can bring them back out i'm going to test them with our cake tester and releaser and uh we will show you how to finish off this recipe all right i'll be back all right everybody so i am just about to pull these out of the oven i wanted to show you our new nesting trivets we do have, still have this, the same flat square ones, but we also have the set that breaks into three. These are really nice. They're nice and thick. They have the new pattern on them that matches our stoneware bottoms uh, from the new line. And uh, yeah, so it's nice for storage. So I'm gonna pull those out. I've got my mini oven mitts. Oh, this looks good. There's baby one. Oh, it smells like heaven. All right, the next thing I was doing, I wanted to tell you that one of the tips, uh, one of the tips in this recipe, I, I didn't do because I don't have the white chocolate chips, but when before we put it in the oven, if you wanted to take about a quarter cup of the white chocolate chips and just kind of shake them up in a little bit of flour, then you could put the chocolate chips on the top after you've put your batter in then put the white chocolate chips on top and the flour that you coated those in actually helps those chocolate chips stay towards the top of your brownie. Interesting fact, eh? So I have a few extra chocolate chips and I am just going to melt them up a little bit, get them kind of started. And I'm just gonna add mine while the skillet's still hot and let that just become an enjoyable chocolate oozing <laughs> delight there we go and again of course i have another spatula because that is life all right so that is it that's our uh, skillet uh brownies we could call them the skillet twins and again we do have a cast iron the raw cast iron and a 10 inch and a 12 inch as well as we have the enamel cast iron skillets uh, set with the beautiful Dutch oven and the two side serving dishes. Beautiful set. Very The color is just tremendous. Will make an excellent addition to your table. If you have any questions on any of this, let me know. Um, and other than that, I will see you again soon. Have a good night.